Hey guys, I'm Zain Nasser. Uh, I'm going to be your host for this uh, for this series. I'm going to be talking a lot about machine learning, specifically machine learning and similar environmental engineering uh, slash engineering. I wanted to have this short recording because I wanted to keep the expectations, um, you know, in check. Uh, as you see, we're going to have about uh, ten recordings, and I did my best to keep each recording about an hour. I know there's uh, maybe one or two that are a little bit more than an hour. I think uh, personally, I learned best like in, in short time span. So 15, 20 minutes, take a break, come back and, and, and do such. And you'll see through, throughout the recordings, like I pause and come back. So I'm not a great recorder, but uh, hopefully I did a good job with the, uh, with these recordings we have for the free chapter. Uh, each recording would cover a chapter because you know, on the right hand side, you can see the chapters. And the last recording or the last chapter 10 and 11, I have both of them in one recording because chapter 11 is a very, very short chapter. So the goal from uh, uh, from the from this process is, is really very, very simple. Uh, teach AI, teach machine learning and try to educate a lot. And I'm hoping uh, it becomes interesting because uh, ML is now like a big buzz and there is a bright future for it. And there's a very good move from the industry towards it. Uh, a lot of research going on at the moment for this, uh, for this area. So uh, I think it's going to be great. Um, um, I'm very hopeful. And for these, uh, for the series, you'll find me uh, trying to focus much more on, on big ideas, big concepts versus uh, like too much details. And the reason behind this is is actually very simple. If you think about this course, this would be covered over 16, 16 semesters, so maybe 15 more or less. And it's like three hours per semester. So there is a lot of a lot of times about you know 40 something hours uh, that we get to sit down and cover. And this was a bit challenging to put everything down into maybe like eight or nine hours for the recordings. And it just made a lot of sense to start with big ideas, big concepts, and then from there, uh, maybe dive in into smaller portions and more details for specifics. Uh, the way I have structured the recordings is uh, like the following. So first thing we start with the with lecture notes and you can get the lecture notes online. I'll show you how in a minute. They're all available for free, uh, free access, open access. And uh, then we go to the book. So if you have uh, if you have a copy, you could follow with me. If you don't, you can actually read the books page by page uh, as long as, you know, uh, I go with it. So that'll be that'll be interesting, and then finally, in some chapters, we get to interpret some some problems. So we're going to be doing some tutorials, some examples, and uh, I'll show you different platforms on how to create machine learning models, manipulate data, create uh, databases, and, and so on and so forth. I also want to have uh, I actually wrote this one down because I don't want to I don't want to miss a tab. I know some professors are adopting the book already. And part of these recordings is not really, I'm, I'm not really trying to impose my, my style. Uh, it's just I know that uh, we have so many other students and schools that haven't uh, had machine learning yet. And I'm thinking, well, if I can have this online, you know, for those uh, interested to go through, through it and learn from it, that'll be, that'll be great. So the goal is really educational. For faculty members, instructors, you know, please feel free to impose uh, and use your own style. Uh, by no means what I'm what I'm presenting is uh, is the best or the greatest. It's just how I view this this material personally, and I use it in my in my course as well. So students, listen to your professors, <laughs> and maybe try to uh, uh, try to quote and incite much of the things I do. I'm hoping they're good examples. Uh, the other thing is, uh, yep. Yeah. The other thing is machine learning by itself is something that uh, has a lot of you know, enigma slash stigma to it. And uh, you'll, you'll hear a lot of terminology that we don't really hear in civil environmental stuff. And it could be a little bit uh, overwhelming. But my advice is always take it slow. You know, whenever something is complex, always try to simplify. Simplifications actually tend to do very, very well when we try to understand new concepts. And then from there, once you're a little bit comfortable, you get to you know go back and use the fancy terms and the buzzwords. I think by the time we finish up this series, it could be uh, you would be, or I feel somebody would be very comfortable talking about machine learning and even using it. 
you may not know all the specific details, but I think you'll be comfortable enough to discuss it with other people and you'll be able to examine and analyze models and, and see and, and figure out what, what limitations they have, challenges they have, and how to overcome these. If somebody is doing, let's say, like a grad student or somebody is interested in creating projects, then that put you hopefully on the right path. Because, you know, for grad students, you have a little bit more time than than 10 hours to go through uh, machine learning. And that'll be interesting because you have like, you know, months of research or sometimes if it's a PhD, you have a couple of years to go and do your research. So I'm expecting a lot to hear a lot of good stuff uh, soon from all of you. If you have like very unique projects or ideas or data sets or even algorithms, please feel free to, to share them with me. I'll always be uh, looking out for these. Creating this book slash the course wasn't easy. There is a, a big list of people that I would like to thank, and I don't want to miss anybody. As I can, as you can see, I'm not really, uh, or I am actually a little bit uh, overwhelmed with this. But I have more. All of them actually listed in, in the preface in the in the book, so you can go through these throughout the pages of the books as well as the recordings. You'll hear me saying some names. So these are people I, I know or like I've met with or I read their papers and stuff. So uh, thank you for your help. My family, of course, Clemson, they were very, very great. Uh, Jasmine was always great. Uh, keeps me in check all the time. So this was, uh, uh, this was a great experience. What else? What else? Mm. Uh, so I think the expectations are there. Everything is there. We talked about the hours. Okay, perfect. So I think I've touched upon the points I want to have. When it comes to the material uh, for this class, the easiest thing you could do is just to Google my uh, my website. So if we go, uh, let's say, to Google or even Bing, in this case, I'm using Edge for some reason. If you go find my, my website, uh, you can easily find the book. And from there, you can find this download button where you go there. <laughs> and here is we have everything uh, listed in chapters. So let's say we're going through chapter, you know, five or six or seven. You just go into the chapter. You have the data sets right there. You can download these. You also have the slides and notes. You can have these too. And everything will be downloaded uh, in there. And we'll, you know, we'll get to go through, uh, through all the material uh, together. Yep, perfect. Great. So let me back this back up a little bit. Let's come back to back here. So hopefully this was this was easy to find. Because the goal is really uh learning. And as we all know, we all learn through different processes and different uh, approaches. I tend to be very, very visual, as you'll see. So I would like to see things, I'd like to try them. It makes my life a little bit easy whenever there's like a theoretical aspect or concept that are there. I usually, it usually takes me a little bit of time to, to go over it because I tend to uh, get lost a little bit. I'm hoping that I've done uh, like a good job in describing what I have in mind for, for, this, uh, for this material. And hopefully it becomes interesting for, for many of you. Uh, ML is going to be here for a while, so we might as well start now because in the next few years, you'll see that there's going to be a lot and a lot of these projects. For instance, the simplest uh, simplest way to always remember AI is going to always be there is actually this cover book. And this cover was made by Dolly by you know, OpenAI. So I, I just typed in, you know, high-rise building in a specific style. And, you know, we have this, this cover book now, so it's I think it looks great. But this is, I think, we're in 2023. We just started 2024. Imagine what we what we could do in, in the next few years. It would be interesting. Uh, stay in touch, please. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, again, if you have like any ideas, if you have any thoughts about the uh, uh, the material itself, the book itself, the recordings themselves, uh, please reach out to me. I'll be I'll be looking out for these uh, uh, for these emails. Um, I think I've covered everything you need for for this uh, for this recording. Well, I'll see you soon, and hopefully, uh, you know, in uh, in some more time, we'll all get to learn and use AI and machine learning much more often. Thank you all.